Feel for cushions. Different perspective maybe coming in later in the game. Uh, Nate mentioned it where some starters usually come in later. Uh, what was that like coming in and just giving that injection of uh, just uh, energy here in the second half? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, I, I mean, it's all about energy, and sometimes it's tough when you come in later in a game. Everyone has their adrenaline up, and you come in, and you gotta you gotta work to get the adrenaline up. So whatever it takes. But I felt like we we went in, and right away we were we were feeling good and getting some chances. Missed a sitter, and you know you you get another chance, and and I took it. Is that just like when we missed a sitter like that? Is it just memory blank right after? Yeah. That's what you have well, to do? the good thing is it was the 85th minute, so I was like, if there's another chance, it's gonna be one more chance. So I really gotta just just put it behind me and, and try to get the win. And it worked out. Chaz Chaz told me Charlie Adams told me uh, right after I missed it, he's like, you're gonna get another, you're gonna get another, and he was right, man. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, short, short week, you got Memphis this next week. Do you, what do you expect from that team? Similar place in the standings and in the East, so you're not really going to see them very much. But Yeah, yeah, we're, I mean, it's getting to the point of the season. Every game is, is a huge game, and it's start, these points are so decisive every week, and especially when we got three games in a week, it, you can really get a good amount of points and, and, and catch up. So we'll see what Memphis has to offer, but, you know, it, it comes down to us at the end of the day. So. Tough match, uh, two to one victory, get the three points just like you drew it up. Or can you just walk us through what that yeah. was like here in the second half and the, and the first half as well? Look, I, I know maybe people in San Diego don't know Loudoun United, but we are under no illusions it's going to be an easy game. They have talented, talented attacking players. They give teams games all the time and they win games too. They're a solid squad with a lot of talent. They're just young. Um, our perform and I think their goalkeeper had an amazing game. I mean, it was something. Some of the saves he made, uh, credit to him. He was big time. Um, but overall, I think I actually thought that was a very, very complete performance um, with a lot of guys getting a chance today. Um, I thought we, we were very like disciplined to keep our approach, not not lose focus when we're, we should not. You know, we're, we don't want to lose the game. We don't want to draw the game. But we just kept methodically going, and guy, guys made plays, and we stayed very present. So I thought other than one play in the back, it was a great performance. Chavi coming in, obviously his first start uh, yeah. in the USL. Uh, what what made his this his time now? Like why is he ready now, getting that start finally after being with the club so long? You know, when you see Chavi in training, this guy can play. He's a footballer, um, and our players trust him. And so you ne you never know what a player is going to be like until he's in in the in the real match. But look, I've seen Chavi play against the Seattle Sounders against Cholos. I've seen him play against Borussia Dortmund, so it was time. Uh, he also has a lot of top footballers. Our midfield is where we build our team. So um, I, you know, I take with pride to, to bring the young guys through, and I want my whole career to be able to bring young guys through. And I think Chavi's a really good footballer, and I think this is the start of his long journey. And in a must-win game at home, I start him, and that's with my actions, I just, that's how I feel about him. I trust the kid, and he's got a, a lot of quality and a great mentality. You know, you said like it was a complete game, and then bringing those subs on. How did you keep that like momentum that you said you thought the team was doing well and going with, with all this? Well, it's just the mentality of our team. We're never going to stop attacking. We're always going to put the pressure on the opponent. And then when we brought in our fresh legs, who are some of our top players, we're naturally going to pin them in. But again, when we weren't scoring, we were methodical and, and I just think very composed. I give those guys that came in a ton of credit. They just kept putting pressure, pressure, pressure. Even in the 85th minute, you can still win the game. Um, and I think that we did, a, like, we did that this game. Compared to the last game at home, we kind of lo lost ourselves and we let transitions happen. And we kept control. We never let them counterattack. And that's how we want to do it. But the players made the plays. Evan made a huge play. Blake made some huge plays. Stoney made some huge plays. Can you talk about the difficulties of coming in late in the game and only having limited time to try to get that game time and go ahead? Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of those guys aren't used to being substitutes. They're used to starting the game. So they were ready to go. Um, but like, I think it's a, we have a three match week and we had to, I, there's guys on, I had to see, what, you know, we had to see what we had for the rest of the season. We brought in some new signings. We have some young guys. This was the day for me to see, like, what do we have in some of these guys the rest of the way? We can't just ride the same 12, 13 players the whole time. And I thought they showed really well. And then the guys that usually start the game came in and, and did the job. And I think that's what good teammates do. Is there a performance in particular from the new guys that you, that you like to see today? Um, yeah, I think, well, look, I think Matiti was, was very effective. I know he wanted to score the goals, but I thought he put in a really good performance. His movement was good. He's, he's what what we thought he was. Um, but honestly, I think everyone's on their own process. And you know, look, I think 
he made one mistake, but I think Jackson had a, had a wonderful game, and he's a growing young player, and um, I think he's going to make an impact for us.